Hey there, survivors. Cougar here, back with more satisfactory gameplay. We are standing here on top of a new section of base that my buddy Damseed is working on right now. He's not able to join us at this moment, but we will take advantage of all the work that he's been doing up here to, for one thing, have a fantastic overview of our base from here. Man, that looks nice. But also, uh, to talk about what happens next. So if you remember at the end of the last video, we had just built in a sky bridge over to our first coal deposit, which is out that way. Once we get the coal, to put it in a coal processing plant, uh, a power generator, we're going to need to mix it up with some water. So that, that's how coal power works, right? The, the coal is actually used to boil the water, which makes the steam, which makes the power. Well, the steam spins the turbines that makes the power. But uh, before we were in the process of getting that coal uh, back here to base, we need to be thinking also about where the water comes from. So fortunately, right over here next to where Dam Seed is setting up this other area of the base, uh, let me just quickly digress to tell you that what he's doing is he, he's taking advantage of... Uh, a, an iron ore deposit near our original base that we had not been using, which is there. So he's taking advantage of that and making us a bunch more iron rods and stuff. He's also, and I should have shown you this from up top, but he's also found two other iron ore deposits on the other side of this rock structure uh, formation uh, that he has tapped and will be running into that area as well. But... Also, over here near where he is, is a little lake. And hopefully, this lake will be deep enough for us to put down a water extractor. Here. Which we can't afford just because we don't have all the, all the materials for it. Right now. But it should work there. Hi, Fluffy. Is this your water? Am I bothering... They don't seem to be that interested in me. I'll leave them. If you guys are just here to get water, that's all good. Y'all get some water. Everybody needs water. So we're going to make that water extractor. And then we're going to use the new piping uh, systems that was introduced in the, the most recent major update. We've got fluid management systems now. So we're going to take advantage of those and bring the water together with our coal and make more power for our base, which we're going to need uh, since we're planning to expand anyway. Oh, that's a serious bad guy with the ranged attack, and he's probably going to stay interested in me for quite a while. So maybe we should just go ahead and try to take him out without taking too much damage. Let's do it. I know it, it seemed like he was running away from me there. But he wasn't really. He was just trying to get into a better position to attack with his ranged attack. Ow. Mm. And he's down. Alien organs times two. Good. So we built that uh, sky bridge, but we didn't actually build a mine over there as far as I can remember. So we're going to have to do that now. Let me just make sure that I have everything that I need to build a mine. Yes, I do. I have a portable miner and some steel plates and some concrete. But in addition to that, we're going to need power for the miner once we get that set up. And for the time being, we'll just dump the coal into a storage container. But let's try to get some power heading out that way. Uh, I'm going to go back to my power setup and put these on hotbar 2 my power lines on hotbar 2 and hopefully there is a power line here that we can extend out toward the new coal mine that we built coal mine coal mine wire is too long Let's do another one and just keep an eye out for that indicator that says the wire is too long and that's where we'll put down this pole wire is too long Nada. And we'll probably need one more before we get there. And then we should be there on this power line. 
Now you'd think if you're setting up power coal generation, maybe you just want to use that to power the mine. But yeah, we want all this linked together, right? We want this all operating off the same grid. So that's what we're gonna do. Wire's too long, but just barely. Here's our sky bridge, ain't she pretty? She does a good job in terms of, you know, as a sky bridge, pretty good. Okay, and there's the coal deposit. So next we bring up our production miner mark one. Unfortunately, that is the only miner we have unlocked so far. As I understand it, the miner mark twos are much more efficient but I don't have those yet. And then we're going to set up a little bit of storage here. I, I may put storage on a hot bar because we use it on a hot button because we use it so often. And I don't really know what happens to the coal after we put it in the storage. So I'm just going to set this up really basic right now. And then run some power out to the mine. And that should be mining coal. Let's get up to the top and watch. Ladder on the other side. Oh, no, not, not that. Oh, yeah. Lots of coal. Lots of coal. Wow, that's coming out fast. This must be a pretty solid uh, coal deposit here. We may want to consider using one of Damn Seed's uh, special patented double stacks of let's see how fast it's coming in it's coming in pretty fast and we may be away for a while so let's let's take this opportunity to set up a double storage container so we're getting full usage of the coal here so we'll put a storage container on top there and then go to the conveyor belts like that start there and then rotate it around so it's going in there all lined up already there we go there we go okay that'll work so now it's taking the coal out of the bottom one putting it in the top one it'll fill both these up and this is good to be storing coal now we need to think about the water and think about how we're going to put the coal together with the water to provide us with more power so that we can do more stuff that we want to do which is stock that big ol' space elevator with all the goodies that they're requesting. So let's head back out this way. Uh, we needed some other stuff to construct the water extractor, right? What do we need for that? I'll pin that. Oh, no, I'll, I'll pin that. How do I? Pin that with the plus button here. Reinforced iron plates, rotors we have enough of, copper sheets we have enough of. We just need reinforced iron plates, which is easy. We've got those. We're making those. We're, we've automated the production on those. So we should have a nice stockpile of reinforced iron plates here. I gotta Until we get the coal production set up, I really got to remember to keep picking up all the biomass. Oops. Oops. All the biomass I see because we will need that until we get this coal production. Well, I mean, even after we get the coal production set up, I, I think we're still gonna need some biomass production, right? So we'll see. Uh, the reinforced iron plates are being made here and going into the storage here. And we got, oh, we got buttloads of uh, reinforced iron plates, which means we should be in good shape to make a water extractor up here next. And this will be my first ever water extractor. I set this game aside before they introduced the fluid management as part of the early access process. You know, that's what I do. I, I pick games up, I play them for a while, I check them out, then I put them aside and just let them simmer on the back burner for a while until it's time to pick them up again and check them out. And that's what I've done here. So let's get over back to the lake. Great. Hopefully, again, this is deep enough for us to actually build a 
water extractor on this. Uh, Fluffy, <laughs> Fluffy is apparently amphibious and is coming through the water at us. But that's okay. Now, my buddy Damsey did also unlock for me and build for me a rebar gun. So we have a better weapon to use on these baddies right now. What we don't have is the ammunition for it, because that is another unlock at the MAM, which is our, um, our research station back there at the hub. So, let's see... So we don't have we don't have a rebar gun right now. I mean, we have the gun. We have the gun in our inventory, but we don't have uh, the ammo for it. So water extractor. It looks like we have everything that we need to build a water extractor. And it looks like there's plenty of room on this lake to build multiple water extractors. So I'm going to try to make the most of this. I don't know how many water extractors we're going to need, but I don't want to just put one in the middle of the lake and monopolize the lake and then we can't build any more. So let's build one over here off to the side. Again, this is my first one, guys. I don't know how any of this works, though the fluid stuff. But that looks pretty cool. Wow, that looks really cool. Oh, really cool. And does the water still just go into regular storage containers if we need to store it? We'll find that out in a second. For now, we need to power it. So let's see about running some power off of the power that Damn Seed's got going out, out to this new area. I don't want to disrupt his plans for the power supply. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct this power line build another power pole and then put a power line off this going to the mine the limestone mine there and then another one coming to our water extractor it's too long we're going to need a waypoint here and speaking of waypoints, eh, that was too much power. Too much. Too much. Oh, rats. We're going to have to do... Boy. If I deconstruct this, will it all start back up again? No, I'm going to have to actually go to the power plants and restart this. Uh, we, we, I should have planned this out a little bit better. Why don't we try to get this as set up as we can before we go do other stuff? I would imagine, yeah, pipeline support, pipelines, pipeline junction cross, pipeline pump. Can be attached to a pipeline to apply, apply head lift. Maximum head lift, 20 meters. Allow fluids, it, it tells you in parentheses, allows fluids to be transported 20 meters upwards. So this is basically a, it's a vertical conveyor belt for... Uh, liquids. And then how do we store the liquids? Fluid buffers. Microphone Can activated. contain up to 400 cubic meters of fluid. Has an in and out point. Has an in and output for pipes, which is what we want. So let's just build one of those since we have the materials that we need to build it right now. Let's just go ahead and build one of those since we're here. And with nothing better to do, that looks like it's right. It looks like it doesn't matter. Input, output can go either way. So we'll just do that. And then 20 meters. I don't think we're going to need to... That's not 20 meters between that output and this input. So we should not need one of those headers. Uh, let's just try regular old pipage here. That looks like it should work. That's user not 20 meters. So we should be good to go here. And a user has just joined our channel. Who's that joining us? Hello and good evening. That's my buddy Damseed who has set up this wonderful second area of the base over here and now he's going to help us figure out the rest of this stuff if he wants to are you joining us Dampseed? yep absolutely Dampseed, introduce yourself tell us all a little bit about your experience with satisfactory 
Oh yeah. Um, well, I'm in uh, the five six with with uh, Lion here, Cougarific, and um, played Satisfactory for a number of months uh, when it was released, and uh, up until about activated. two or three months ago. So, kind of jump back on with this new this new patch. Fantabulastic. And you've helped me out a great deal here. I didn't even notice when you set up this second area here that you also set up mines on the two iron ore deposits off to the uh, northeast of here. You set up additional mines? But yeah, there should be two more over there, I think. Yeah, but they're not hooked up yet, right? That's right. So I've got uh, power running out to a mine after we built the sky bridge over to the coal deposit over there uh so that is mining stuff and it's all going into a uh, a storage container or double stacked storage container that you taught me how to build and now what i'm trying to do is get the water set up so these over here are the two mines that uh damn seed set up that aren't actually going anywhere right now but they will be in just a minute and he's also got them going into storage containers before they come out to go over here for use and let's see so i'm gonna try go ahead i was just i was just saying i'm gonna try and get that all cleaned up tonight and uh get it self-contained all good so what happened, um, I set up the coal mine and the coal mine is mining and then I set up the water extractor because we need water for the actual coal power plant. And I set up the water extractor over here, my very first by the way, and then all, everything shut down because I overtaxed the power system. And I've not turned it back on yet, which I'm on my way to do right now, I forgot about that. Well once you have the coal power up, it should be no issue whatsoever. Yeah, but uh, so th doing that, though, um, involves me encountering my first fluid processing, which is probably going to be as messy as all the rest of this has been. All right, let's just get... Uh, so we just spiked the power here. We've still got plenty of fuel in our biomass burner, so I'm just going to turn everything back on. Wow, we spiked it again. That shouldn't be happening. Because the the power extract the water extractor is not actually hooked up now. Let's try this one more time. No, one of these may so, be low on fuel. Well, that or everything does initially spike when it first turns on. Ah, uh, so we're gonna have to build another biomass burner just to get around this initial spike. Ah, uh, we're gonna need one anyway down the road, I suppose. Yeah, all these are fueled. They're all fueled. Oh no, that one has no fuel. Alright, that may be what the problem is. Because we had plenty of power before I did that. So, let's just try to dump some fuel in and see if this works. Yeah, we're running and we still have some, some free space, uh, some overhead in terms of power production. So we're good for now. We just can't hook up that water extractor thing. And also, I can do, um, go ahead. I was to say, I can do some uh, resource gathering for fuel once I get on. We do need resources for fuel. We also need, I would love to get one of these freaking trucks built. So we have unlocked the tractor and the truck station. And I've never built either of those or used either of those before. So I actually have everything I need. Oh, no, wait, that's a different. There's, there's something in the, in, in the recipe here that I don't, I don't even recognize. What the heck are those? Power pole? Is that a power pole? No. How do I do this? Beacons? You need beacons. Oh, you need five beacons. Oh, beacons are cheap. Okay. You make good. those at the crafting table. All right, great. Let's make those, and then we can make a truck. And then I didn't really want to make the truck until I actually had a destination for it. But um, we can build it just to see what it looks like. Where's my hub?
beacons. Not this crafting bench, that crafting bench. Equipment workshop beacon. I can make 27 of them. Yeah, they're cheap. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Where are you right now? You want to see our, our truck, our tractor? I am actually having some issues launching, so I'm trying to okay. validate, and then I'll be on. Aw. Aw. Well, you're going to miss our first tractor. Tractor. Aw. That was an easy build. Okay, he's he's cute. He's not, not, not exactly badass, but it's cute. Drive tractor. Go. Go tractor. Go. Oh, I need to fuel it. I need to fuel the tractor, that's why. Oh, drive. How do you fuel it? Open workbench. Take all, store all, fuel. Here we go. And it'll take anything as fuel, basically, right? Or you don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I never have, did much with the trunks. I have nothing in there that will fuel it, so I'm heading back to storage. And dumping off of stuff, my, my inventory is also completely full, so let's get rid of some of this and some... Uh... Oh yeah, and I've got the color gun. You may have noticed as you look around here, some of this stuff actually has different colors now. So all of Damseed's stuff over there is painted blue. Uh, the, the stuff, the new stuff that he built, and I also tested tested out the paint gun on this stuff here. Isn't that nice? It's blue. And then his stuff's all over there. Okay, so I emptied that out. Now I just need some fuel for the truck. I wonder if it burns coal raw. It's 200 solid biomass as fuel for the tractor. You know, I have a feeling, Damn Seed, that you're going to make it in here right in time for us to wrap this up because we've been going for almost a half an hour now. Well, that's okay. I know, don't be too disappointed. Don't be sad. All right, 200 fuel. I has the tractor. Look Are you it. able to drive it? Look at me go. Yes, yes, I can drive it. Oh, that's awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> you know what's awesome? Is the exhaust has one of those flaps on it so the water doesn't get it when it rains. <laughs> that looks cool. Huh. Okay, so. I am on top of the. Yes, I, I know I where see you spawned in. Yeah. Oh, you see me? Well, I see you on the map. Oh, do you, do you see my tractor, though? Are you by the space elevator? I'm past the space elevator, almost to the, the coal, but screw that, I'm coming back. I think, does this only, you can only ride one person at a time? I'm not sure. But you may be able to jump on it if you want to go for a ride, or I'll let you take it for a spin. You got the touch oh, yeah, here you come. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, the brakes suck. The brakes are terrible. Oh, it's a workbench. There is a workbench built in. That's awesome. Yes. And a little bit of storage, I think. But go ahead and take it for a spin. I, I think I can ride on top if I if I can jump up there, but I'm not sure if I can get up there. I might need something else to jump in on. Jump up on. Yep, there we go. All right, let's try it. Forward, Jeeves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take this thing off some sweet jumps. No! No jumps! I just built this thing. Don't crash it. <laughs> oh, it can record a path. Okay, so this is really cool. Yes, this is the remote control aspect of it, and this is what we're going to set it up to do, is to pick up a bunch of coal out there at the coal mine and bring it back here to the coal plant, where it's going to be combined with the water to make energy. But, you know what, everybody? That is actually going to do it for this episode. Damn Seed, I'm sorry you didn't get to 
join us for too much this time, but you'll be uh, hopefully sticking around for the next episode. For now, we have uh, set up some power out to the coal mine out there. So that's stocking, stockpiling coal. And then we've set up our liquid, our water extractor over there. So that is that will be stockpiling water once we get it hooked up to some power. And we've built our tractor. So a very, a very uh, action-packed episode in terms of all the stuff we've accomplished today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And there'll be more coming. Stay safe, survivors.